today we're going to practice the zh sound again using the spelling with the letter S. Do you remember yesterday we had measure and treasure? You're going to be listening for the same sound again today. But first, I'd like to test your brain. I'd like to see if you can remember how to spell these from the other day. The first word is want. I want a nice big cup of tea. Want. Check and change. Did you get W, A, N, T? Did you remember this was the tricky part of the word? Want. Want. Your next word is watch. I found my watch in the books. Watch. Check and change. Watch. Check with your sound buttons, please. There's the tricky part that's saying off in this word. And now try Gara saying ch. Your next word is wander. I like to wander with my dogs. Wander. Check and change. Ch. Use your sound buttons to be sure, please. And you know that is the tricky part, making different sound to what you expect. Your next word is quantity. Have a look in your sweet box and find out the quantity of sweets in there. How many are there? Quantity. Let's check and change. Quantity. Let's check with our sound buttons. Quantity. And there's the tricky part of our word. Except now you've practiced so many times, it's probably not as tricky anymore. So let's see if you can get the last one. Squash. I like to drink orange squash, but lemon squash is my favorite. Squash. Check and change. Squash. Let's double check with sound buttons. Squash. And there it is. But it's not tricky anymore, is it? You know the spelling rule. Right, let's get back to zh. The word is casual. Let's clap the syllables like we did. You might think it's casual, but it isn't. Casual. Do it with me. Casual. How many times did you clap? Casual. Did you clap three times? Let's find out where the syllables are. We've got cash, you, and all. Cash, you, all. Casual. You can see that there's a vowel in each syllable. Casual. Ah, uh, there's our tricky part today. Casual. Casual. Right. On the next line, try and write the word casual. When I'm at home, I wear my casual clothes. Maybe my jeans or my comfy sweater. Casual. Let's check and change. Uh, Have you remembered that part? You, oh, let's put our sound buttons in. K, a, j, u, t. Sorry, let's try and do that right. K, a, j, u, o. Casual. Your next word is usual. 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 Check and change. Use your. Use you will. Usual. It's 
usual for me to have a cup of tea in the morning. The next word is unusual. It's not usual. It's not normal. It's unusual for me to have a cup of coffee. I do sometimes, but it's unusual. Can you hear the prefix un? Do you know how to spell usual? Unusual. Have a try. Check and change. Have you got the prefix un? Have you got usual? Like we had before. Here's our prefix un. Usual. Un means not. It's not usual. Right. On your board or in your books, leave a line and be ready for my sentence. I'm going to do something first today. Can you see my star? Do you like looking at the stars in the sky? I love it. That was unusual. You don't normally see them shooting, flying. The sentence is, that was unusual. That was unusual. Pause the video if you need some more time. Let's check and change. Have you got that? Have you got a capital letter to start your sentences? And have you got ascending letters? Nice, tall letters. That was, check because this is a tricky spelling if you've forgotten it. But year twos, you should all know that makes the off sound. We were practicing that earlier. Was. Very. I think I might have put an extra word in here. I think I said that was unusual. If you heard very, check that you spelt it the right way. Very. That was very unusual. Here's our prefix un. Usual. Unusual. I'm telling you something. So what do we need at the end of a statement? We need a, oh, why have I used an exclamation mark? I used it because isn't that exciting to see something so unusual as a shooting star? But you might have put a full stop. And that is fine if you have. That was very unusual. 